Okay, I don't know if you guys are up for this, but I'm going to walk from the condo to the beach. So if you're not doing anything, why don't you join me in this walk? Here we go. Beautiful day out here. You can smell the ocean air. Nice breeze. The sun is out. And I need to see some blue water. So here we go. This trail will lead right to San Juan Creek Trail, which goes right to the ocean. So here we go. They actually reopened this park. It was closed for a few weeks. It was all taped off, so we're getting back to normal. Got a little game going on right here. Yeah, a lot of people come from San Juan Capistrano. They take this trail. It's kind of like the Santa Ana River Trail that goes to the ocean. This one goes from San Juan Capistrano all the way to the beach. So uh, the beach will be about three quarters of a mile from where we're at. So we're about to approach the trail here in just a moment. It's nice because this is kind of like a private sidewalk. Not too many people come through this way. And it leads right to the trail. There is PCH way on the horizon if you see those cars. So we're going to go underneath PCH here in just a moment. And they always have tsunami hazard zone signs just to warn us. So I'm going to jog a little bit and pass these gals. After the virus hit, instead of going to the gym, I've been, thank God, I've been jogging a couple miles. So. Let's go ahead and just jog up to PCH, no problem. Sorry about the bumpy ride, but there's San Juan Creek. You've got all the ocean crows, ocean ducks, ocean pelicans, ocean seagulls. When it gets real rainy, the steelhead trout come up here. Okay, I'll slow it down, just so it's not that bumpy. Okay, we're getting close to PCH, and there's the beach, right there. There is Doheny State Beach. So we're gonna get there in just a moment. You can actually take your surfboard to the beach, no problem. You don't want to deal with parking. The big thing out here is electric bikes. I'm not a real big bike person, especially if it's an electric bike, because you're not even getting hardly any exercise. I like to walk it or jog up here. The game plan is to come out here Memorial Day on Monday and bring the surfboard and 
try out my surfing skills. I've got a long way to go on that one. Just bought the surfboard last weekend. So that's a regular bike. All right, here's PCH, and there's the ocean right underneath it. Fresh water meets the ocean water. And you can go right up here and make a right, go on PCH, and then cross over the Dana Point Bridge, if you prefer going that way into the marina. This leads right to the sand, right to the beach. Building new condos over here. So that's a good thing, it brings up everybody's property values. They're selling these for like starting at 900 grand. Can you believe it? Here we go, PCH. We're gonna go right underneath it. And there's another tsunami sign. This is not the best place to be. Hopefully that never happens. You don't think about tsunamis until you move to the move to the beach. Never thought about it living in Placentia. But here we go. We're going underneath. They've got the fresh water from the San Juan Creek. It'll come up to the beach or to the ocean, but they seal it off this time of year. So there is a, a divider between the fresh water and the ocean water right here, which is good if you're in the ocean because they say that this fresh water can be contaminated with all the runoff coming from the sewage and stuff. So this water is completely clean up here though. He's got a squeaky bike, but here's the ocean, right here. We've got lifeguards out. So thank God they're opening up our beaches. And then you have um, Doheny State Beach is here on the right, and that's where you can park your car. I suggest to get here early though. It's about, I'd say 12.30, 1 o'clock, and looks like it's pretty packed. So get here, beat the crowds, get a good spot. All right, you can start to hear the ocean. Not the cars honking on PCH behind us, but I can already hear the ocean. It's a great sound. Here we go. They have the most beautiful aqua blue water here in Dana Point when the sun's out. So here we go. We're going to go right up and touch the water. Didn't take us that long. I don't know how long the video's been running. Uh, eight minutes. So. It's an eight minute walk, eight to nine minute walk, right to the beach, feet on the sand. Here we go. There's the main lifeguard tower right there. And then people are playing volleyball over there. And then you've got the people, we're already on the sand. So here we go. There's the lifeguard tower, here's the beach. Here we go. It's always fun walking on sand. But there's the lifeguard tower and here we go. This is why I say if you want to come out to the beach, give me a call, send me an email. Real easy, we can either walk here or park right here. There's the parking lot right there. But here we go, let's check out the waves today. I'm just gonna walk past these people. No, I am not going to film anybody while they're laying out. I'm just gonna walk straight through. 
this is more my size waves. It's real small today because I'm a beginner. This is the best beginner's beach. Here we go. Listen to the ocean. And we're going to touch the water. That's my rule. When you come to the beach, you have to touch the water. The Pacific Ocean. Here we go. San Clemente is right down there. And then that's the marina for Dana Point. Here's the water. Let me touch the water. We're going to go a little closer. Okay, yeah, gotta be careful here. Here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, whatever. Here we go. It's funny how I got my feet wet. Oh well. Life happens. So anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a blessed, safe Memorial weekend. And I'll see you next time.